Hello, the internet. Welcome back to the Webpost. I'm Sefi, and we're going to be talking about Mast and her kit. And if you know a pre analysis, if you should be pulling or saving, which, in my opinion, most free to play players, this is going to be an easy skip. So let's talk about why I think that way. And let's get into her kit in Twitter. Before we start, leave a like, subscribe. If you like this type of content, you can support it with Patreon or YouTube memberships. And let's get into the video, starting with her skills right here. Let me show the first animation, which is something a lot of us are interested, right? There we go. When it comes to the burst animation uh, in English, it loses a little bit of personality, I will say. The, the, the JP voiceovers, like always, are a lot better, at least for this type of games, and also because they are spending a lot of money on really good BAs. Uh, that said, that is going to be her burst animation. I will say, you know, just like Nero, just like Rosanna, this is going to be a fun service character first, and then some utility afterwards. <laughs> she has more utility than Rosanna but it's still not a lot more so let me zoom in this perfect so she's a burst 2 electric smg a lot of problems already to start with so first of all burst 2 really competitive spot adjusted like it's really hard for as of right now right on the current meta in nikke justifying removing bunny girls and putting someone else in place that's not senti that's not rupee that's not even guilty as one of the best dps's in the whole game so releasing a b2 smg is a little bit risky something also to mention is it's a elision which in that case you know we do need more elision units because right now if you come here uh, the, your only options as B2s or real options to use in tower are Diesel and Poly. I will say Poly is a 40 second, so even Diesel is like your only real option. So, so that's one place where actually Mast might be usable, and that's going to be on Elysian Tower. Now, outside of the tower, let me talk about the problems that I see with her kid, and let's go with skill by skill. So, skill number one. Pilot's Grid, it's a passive, activates when creating attacks hit two times, affecting the target, and doing a debuff on defense down for three seconds, stacking up to 50 times. This is the first problem. It's only three seconds. Keeping this up is going to be hard because you need to be constantly critting. Meaning if you don't have must overloaded or fully overload with crit and defense, because that's going to be her two probably main stats, right? It's going to be hard to keep this up. Now, also, the second part of the skill list activates when HP falls below 70%. Affect self and two allies with the highest attack, except caster. So, critical damage increased by 50% continuously. That's pretty good. If critical was more prominent, if critical was more important, usually you will know you want attack. Just because how Nikki calculates the damage formula, attack is more prominent than any other stat in the game so critical is not bad and it's going to be depend on the team you are pairing her with but this is another unit that requires to be lower on the hp side and you can pair her with as you can see we have open here first scarlet uh, you will be able to pair her with her but because of uh, ripon tier and also on guillotine uh, you will be able to pair her because of residual heat so these are two electrical units that you will be able to place with mast the problem i see with this then is you have a b1 you have mast you have two two girls that will kill themselves and then you need a healer that's not continuously healing everyone so that they can actually like get the books up because guillotine needs to be below let's say 30 40 percent to properly ramp up damage uh scarlet is not important and then mast needs to be below 70 percent too so your last spot needs to be a healer or someone that you just go completely unga bunga full damage team, right? No heals, which it's gonna be risky. And I don't think you can justify bringing Mast as your only B2 if you are going full damage because she actually doesn't provide that much. And, and why she doesn't provide that much is because after you have a skill one, right? Which is cool to say you have a defense down for a defense threat teams, which is pretty cool. And the critical damage continuously, cool. Now the problem comes on a skill 2, pirate side. This is a passive 2, activates when entering battle of itself and two allied units with the highest attack once again, right? So guillotine and scarlet. Critical rate increased by 23% for 30 seconds only. So this is a skill that is more for PvP rather than PvE. In PvE, you will never be, when you are pushing content under high deficit power, right? You almost never will be done within 30 seconds. So this is a skill that's completely useless after those first 30 seconds end. So it, let's say you are doing a defense stage. Let's say you are doing one of those a world, one of those defense stages where you have to, you know, avoid people going into the right side of the screen. Then Mast is completely useless in that regard because she's losing already one part of her kit. So she's a skill one and only burst. A skill number two is gone. 
is going depending on what you are playing with and this is one of the reasons why for most free to play this is a skip because who wants a, a unit with only two skills instead of two proper skills and a burst right and with mast what you are getting is pilot grid and then self with the tempest which is the burst skill 20 second cooldown affects self and two allies with the highest attack once again increasing max hp without restoring hp which means this is good for scarlet and for guillotine once again because the lower hp they are the more damage they are dealing and putting out so she is made for those teams for those electric compositions which we still don't even have like a proper b1 electric um so i don't know what their plan is here because the only real option in which we electric it's who like maybe winter rupee and that's it there's no one electric with 20 seconds that you can actually use because rosanna and noise are not the best options let's say and also rosanna is another 40 second cooldown b1 electric so i'm not sure what's the plan here but the max hp without restoring hp is good for scarlet and guillotine she also increases critical damage by 25 percent for seven seconds which is good and then the last part which is interesting and we'll need to see how this works is affects the targets afflicted with sea breeze dealing some damage which we don't care and then mirroring the stack count of sea breeze every second for seven seconds so she's duplicating the stack counts here on sea breeze let's say you have 10 now you have 20 now you have 40 right like every second but, it, but but also then you are getting those stacks for only three seconds so i'm not sure if that's going to be enough to keep a defense down debuff and then keeping also the critical rate and damage up constantly because you are losing critical rate already right so critical rate it's out of the window you are getting only critical damage with this unit so you will have to overload with either critical rate so she can be landing those uh those sea breeze stacks or it's gonna be really hard to keep them up that's my biggest concern so skill number two is my big concern because it's lost after 30 seconds and it's completely useless so maybe she's gonna be finding a, a bigger place on pvp rather than pvp and then uh, the stacks are only three seconds which makes it a little bit hard to keep up so those are my, my two big concerns other than that i think she's an easy skip for most uh, free to play players unless you want her for collection uh, once again i don't think she's gonna be bad i think for defense uh, uh for defense threat teams it's gonna be pretty good i i think for electric teams she's gonna be pretty decent but outside of those two places i think it's really hard justifying getting this b2 that said Maybe we get her and she surprises us. We'll see what happens. If you want to see the test when we get her, we'll be doing that on the live streams like every single day. We stream every day on Nika Reset. Just come say hello. If you have a problem with special interception, we help people clear them. That's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go back to the daily videos probably from now on. I've been just taking a rest because with this heat, it's just too fucking hot, bros. Too fucking hot. That's it. Thank you to all my patrons for making this content possible. Love you all. If you want to join my supporters, you can with the links in the description down below and with Patreon. Good luck with your full the and see you in the next one.